Hello traders, it's time to tell you about all the movers and shakers in the comic book industry within the last seven days. Now these are the books that have made an impact on online sales sourced from a larger list at CoverPrice.com. I'll bring you the top five books and we'll discuss what's been going on with them and how they're driving in sales. So in at number five on the list, we've got a repeat offender, Moon Knight issue number one. Now this is the book from November of 1980. It retells the origin of Moon Knight and gives us more character development of the Silver Defender. It's written by Doug Minch with art by the legendary Bill Sienkiewicz. It tells us the story of a mercenary, Wall Street wizard, street smart cabbie, the masked avenger, Mark Spector, because he is all of these things. We're coming off the popularity of the Disney Plus series that ended a week ago, and it's driven readers to this more accessible title compared to the more expensive previous Moon Knight titles. Now, we've seen 31 units sold across all online platforms, resulting in an average raw sell of $70.22. Now, a CGC graded 9.8 sales are reaching highs of about $826.71. In our number four spot, we have a tie with two covers from the same book. It's Obi-Wan number one that released this past Wednesday. With several variant covers, these two seem to be the standouts. It's a juxtaposition between the, both the old and the young Obi-Wan, as portrayed by Ewan McGregor and Sir Alec Guinness. We have 31 cells per cover and a combined sale of 61 plus copies across all online platforms. Copies of this book have been driving a huge jump in sales with the 1 in 25 old OB cover showing an average raw sell of $58.51. It's a high sell of $64 on the 11th for this 1 in 25 incentive variant. And of course the Phil Notto A cover is selling in mass with raw sales averaging $7.81 and a high sell of $14.75 on the 12th for a book that was released just three days ago. And now for number three, our only DC book on the list this week is Flashpoint Beyond, issue number one. Now we're showing 37 sales over the past seven days, most of those hitting since the book's release three days ago. This is a new series that follows Thomas Wayne's Batman in the Flashpoint universe, and he takes on the king of Europe, Aquaman. Now at number two on the list is our highest ranking Marvel book. Driven by the popularity of the Doctor Strange film, back on the list this week is Captain Carter issue number one. It's from back in March of this year. We've got, in the past week, a total of 38 cells, and we're seeing an average raw sell of $13.28. Now, graded books in a 9.8 are selling right around that $320 mark. So high grade is key for this book. And for our number one book this week, we have an indie coming from Image Comics with 41 online sales driving average raw sales of $13.67 and graded CGC 9.8 books selling for around $190. We're up 20% over the past week we've got Spawn number nine, which is the first appearance of both the medieval Spawn and Angela. The interesting part is this indie book is spiking with news from the MCU and speculation that she may be in the Thor Love and Thunder film. Now we've got art by Spawn creator Todd McFarlane and a story by the great Neil Gaiman himself. Angela may be on the list for quite a while. So that's our list of the top five movers this week. And these books are flying off the shelves in mass. This list is representative of online sales only across several platforms that include eBay, My Comic Shop, Heritage Auctions, so on and so forth. There are still plenty of these books in your local comic shop, typically for much lower prices. So go out on the hunt with this information, and I'll see you next time, traders.